everyone. Hi, I've got a little uh, friend here. Come here. There he is. Look. <laughs> He's insisting on sitting there. So I'm sat the wrong way on the sofa. And because the window is behind the sofa. And I thought if I sat the right way, it should, you're not going to be able to see anything. Because although it's raining, it's a bright light. But he thinks that I'm looking out the window, which is one of his favourite hobbies. So, match bun. Good boy. I thought I'd come on and show you what I've been obsessed. By the way, my hair's dried naturally. So it's all just flicking in funny directions. So just ignore that. Gone are the days of me getting ready to sit at home and do nothing. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, yes. I decided that I didn't want to do the granny stripe blanket. Um, and I wanted to do a... A, 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 a bit. I wanted to do a granny square blanket, so I pulled it back. I'd only done a couple of stripes, rows, um, and I thought I'd do squares instead. Um, and I wanted to try and use up some scraps, so I was still going to do the rainbow th theme thing. I'm trying to find the first one I did. Aha! Aha, this one. So the red, the red, the green, this one, like a minty aquary colour, are all from the pound from Poundland, um, and the rest are Mariner. Um, and I'm actually not. So I'm trying to use up balls that I've already started. So I am using up. Um, I think I've used, a f now I've used up a red one, um, but I'd already started it, so it's not actually using that much yarn. The orange, I'd made a single um, little tiny carrot out of it previously, and that's all I'd used it for. And it, it's there's about three quarters of a ball left, so I've not used that much. I'm going to do it four by four, um, and I think I've made, so that's 16 squares, so I think I've made three four five six seven eight nine ten and i'm on eleven so once i've done this one there's five more to go oh my god Duh. um i've done them all ever so slightly different so this sort of the colors are all that i'm confusing myself with it it's not really it's not a pattern, but like the pa the order that the colours go in, I'm confusing myself. So it's going red, orange, yellow, green. This is like a bluey green. Uh, this is blue, lilac, and then I didn't want to put pink on it just in case it's you know it's going to be for a boy or for like if I give it to my my niece, it's quite pink, but. I don't, I don't know who it's going to be for, so I didn't want to put too much pink on it in case it's going to be for someone that doesn't like pink, because there's not necessarily pink in the rainbow. So I've done this like, I think this is called Cerise by Mariner, and I had a little tiny 25 gram ball. Um, it's really thin, the rest are fine, but this one's really, really thin. Um, I think you just get that with Mariner yarn sometimes. But the pattern I'm doing, so it's... It's that, but then I've inverted it as well. I'm really confusing myself. So, that's it inverted, and that's it normally. And then I want to, like, move the colours. Does this make sense? I, know, I don't even know how to explain it, but I know what I mean. So, like, this... And they're not even, I don't even know how I'm placed, I think I'm going to place them in, in order. But like, this is the next one in the pattern. I'm covering my mouth, I hope, I know you can still hear me. Um, so like the, so this starts with the cerise and ends up being red. Or starts with the red and ends up being the cerise. And then this one starts with orange and ends up being red. Is this making sense? And then the next one will start, do they go together? Yeah, and then the next one will end in orange, which I don't know if I've made that one yet. I have. 
like that. Does this make sense? I know what I mean. I probably should have laid them out. So there's like two. So there'll be two of each. Don't dig. There'll be two that end in red, but the patterns will be different. And then there'll be two that have, and by end I mean their last row, because you obviously start in the middle. So there'll be two that end in red, but there'll be the opposite pattern. One will be going out and one will be sort of going in. Am I making sense? I've I've had to let, when I'm making them, because I've not done it in any order, I started with this one and then I made this one and then I did something and realised that it's not just going to be, no, I started with this one. Um, I started with this and then I made this and I realised that there's not just going to be like one of each colour on the edge because you can put, the colours are still in the right order but let me show you the edge. There's going to be loads of ends to tie in as well. I didn't think about that when I was normal because I've made a granny blanket before, a granny square blanket. I only did them um, five rows, I think. One, two, three. One, one, two, three, four. I think I did four colour, which will take you to this one, and then I did a white, a cream border to so to join them all together. So this is a lot bigger. But as I did that one, I did sew in all the ends as I went, and I've not on these, and I know I'm going to regret it. I never really mind sewing in that much, but this is, like, excessive. But I have left them really long. I made that mistake last time of not... Sorry, I'm sat in a really uncomfortable position. I made that mistake last time of not um, leaving the ends long enough, so some of them are... I did end up with a hole in one of the squares and it was right in the middle of the blanket and I was really upset. Um, sorry. I've got some fizzy water because I'm trying to stop drinking so much tea but it's just making me like oh, all the while. Um, but it's elderflower. Ooh. So, yeah, I am confusing myself a bit with what I've, because I've not done it in any order. I didn't really think about it until I started. But like this two, two that end in orange but and the colours are all in the right order but this one's like going in and that one's going out does that make sense I know what I mean I know what I mean but basically there's going to be two Bilgo please don't uh, there's going to be two now you stood on it all Get off this. There's going to be two ending in each. I've said I must have said this 17 times. We understand that there will be two squares ending in each of the colours. They're the greens. But I'm just like I'm making some really nice patterns. I think so. Yes. So I'm gonna do that. I think they're everywhere now. I had them all like in order. Um. Doesn't that look nice though? So I think I'm making some nice colour combinations. One of my favourites was, let me find it. This is really boring, isn't it? Ruth's favourite colour combinations. I like these three together. And I think when it's in the middle of the square, you can sort of see it a bit better. Um, yes, and I think I'm going to go around them all again in the yellow, because I have a lot of the yellow. Um, I have a lot of orange left, but it might not be enough because I would like to edge the blanket as well. Um, so I think I'm going to do it in the yellow because I have another. There go. I have another two balls after what I'm already using. I don't think I'll finish the ball. Um, so I think I'm going to do it in this yellow colour. It's quite pale, and then I don't know what I'll do if I've got. So I'm re I'm, I thought I was running out of the green, but I found another 50 gram ball, so that's fine. This colour um, is Poundland. Is it called Aqua, maybe? That I am running out of, but I have a Mariner one, a full ball, that is very, very, very similar, if not the same, really. So I shall, I shall use that for it. Um, the Cerise I am running out of. 
but there's there is there will be enough the red the orange the yellow and the blue and the purple i've got plenty of um so yeah i'm i'm really enjoying doing it they they do work up really fast um and i do i think i i like a color change i like I, do, I think if they, I was doing it all in in really thick stripes, I'd struggle. And I think if I was doing solid colours, like a, a red one, an orange one, I would struggle. Just get bored really easily. But like on this, I like like I want to work to the next colour. Sorry, I just keep fiddling with the squares. I think they're so pretty. I keep laying them out on the floor to have a look. I'm going to wash it. I probably won't block it because... Um, Sorry, he's got a toy and I wanted to make sure he was chewing the toy and not anything else. Quite often he'll find like a little strand of wool and he'll chew on it, which is fine. But then like it disappears and I think he's at it. It's probably not a good idea. Um, he digs everything. He's like a little digging animal. A bunny? Do bunnies dig? I don't know. Yeah, so that's all I'm doing. Um, I've not got anything else on the go. Doctor Who scarf, um, Grace said it's in time out. And it is. it really is in time out. Um, I will pick it up again. I still want to do it. But I'm enjoying this at the minute. Yes. That's it really. Um, Denise had a live stream on Saturday night. That was good fun. Um, and... I think I'd like to do a live stream, but it's just not, I've only got my phone and I don't know if it'd be, I don't know if I'd do it, no. I think I will one day, um, but not at the minute. It's not really practical with Kirk in and out all the while and naughty dogs digging all the time. Um, but yeah, it was really good fun. It's nice to chat to everyone and sort of have a conversation rather than, because it's weird, like I do feel like I'm talking to my friends when I sit here and chat. But no one replies. <laughs> or it, it, I do get comments and I, I absolutely love my comments. Everyone leaves such lovely, lovely comments. Um, I was reading them at work on Saturday and replying to a few um, on my lunch break. And it's just really nice. And I, I, I'm always telling Kirk, like, oh, I've got another comment. And oh, I've got so-and-so commented. And it's really nice. So thank you. It, it really means a lot. I love reading them. I do try my best to reply as quick as I can, but sometimes I have to leave it and do it all, all together and not, not, because I don't, on my phone, I don't know if it's the same on everyone else's, on my phone, to read and reply to my comments, I have to start playing the video and I can only look at my face so much. Obviously, I pause it. Um, obviously, I pause it. Yes, so, yeah, it was good fun Saturday night. Kirk went out with his friends, so it was nice to have a bit of company after work. Um, and he had a sore head on Sunday. Hugo! Some toys getting some serious abuse on the floor. Um, what else was I going to say? Probably nothing. I just waffle on. Uh, but yes, thank you for all the lovely comments. And keep them coming. I love them. And I don't know what else I'll be making next. Oh, I am going to, as long as there's enough colour. And the cerise is bugging me because it's so thin. It just, it's like working with string and I don't want to change hook sizes or anything because I've made so many now. Um, because I did have a little tiny ball that I pulled back from the granny stripe and I thought I just wound it too tight and stretched it and that's why it was thin. But it wasn't until I got onto the, the bigger, like the actual skein, skein, I never know what to say, that I realised that it was just a thin yarn and perhaps I should have picked something else. What are you doing? Good boy, come here. Um, yeah, so I am going to also make a lovey, I think, in these colours. Pardon me, I'm so sorry. Hello. Hi. Um, I am going to make a lovey. I think I'm going to do it white or yellow because that's what I'm edging the blanket in. And <laughs> it's such a poser. Um, I'm going to... Perhaps make the granny square, make a granny square of this size, obviously with the, I don't know what animal, I'm thinking a rabbit or a bear. Because they're quite generic, aren't they? If I make a cat and it goes to someone that's not particularly a cat person or a dog who's not a dog person, I think they'll still, anyway, 
overthinking i overthink everything that's why i've ended up doing this stupid pattern where colors are inverting and whatever i could have just made i could have just made loads of this is like the official rainbow square i could have just made loads of them but no ruth's got to complicate things hasn't she or I could have just done it random. I can't do random. My OCD, I don't have OCD. Kirk's mum's got actual OCD and I, sh I should stop myself from saying it. But, you know what I mean. Um, like my OCD kicks in and I can't. I have to, I have, to have a pattern. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to do an animal head. And the lovey square will be... I'm going to do it to this size in the yellow or the white. I think yellow now. <laughs> too many words not enough breathing um and then on the end of this do the, do one of each row in the rainbow colors just to make it a bit bigger so i think this might be a little bit small for what i'm after so if i do this sort of size just in yellow and then do the red orange green whatever i think that will be nice um i keep looking on pinterest for ideas and it's just Sometimes it's too much stimulation and I have to stop. My brain goes into over overload. Last night I was dreaming about rainbows. Not rainbows, but like rainbow, rainbows in yarn. Um, yes. And that's it, I think. Kirk started, well, Kirk has gone to work. He's on late this week. And it's the first day of his last week of his job that he's been in for 11, 11 years. And he's leaving on Friday. Um, and he's 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 starting his new job on job job on Monday. Um, I think it's going to be a shorter day because it's like an induction day. Um, and he he has got a couple of like his friend, his boss is one of his best friends, and that's who asked him. I'm like shaking a square around. That's who asked him to apply for the job. Um, and a couple of his other friends work in the same place. And I forget where I was going with this. Oh, and they've all give, told him that... Look at that dog. What are you doing? They've all um, told him... He's got a nickname at work. And they've all, and I won't... It's not a rude one or anything, but he might not want you to know. I don't think he care. Um, but they've all told him... At the, they've, his friends have told him at the new place that his, his nickname isn't what his nickname is. And it's proper... So they're all, all saying, oh, your friend Plopper's starting on Monday, isn't he? And his nickname's not Plopper. Um, yeah, so he's got lots of nervous butterflies and excitedness. And he he obviously chose to hand his notice in and apply for a new job. And he's done re really well. Um, but he's going to miss all his friends. And it's, it's a bit of the fear of the un unknown, isn't it? I've been at my job for... I'm going into my 11th year. He's going into his 12th. He would be going into his 12th year. So I said, I can understand that if, you know, if a great opportunity came along, of course you'd take it, but I'd miss all my friends. And it's just like, you know where everything is. You don't need to be shown where the toilet is or shown where the canteen is or whatever. Or, you know, if you want, like, I know if I want something photocopy and where just to just where to go, just go and do it. I don't have to start asking and working things out. So, Anyway, I bet you're really glad that I've told you that now, aren't you? But I digress. And on Sunday, we are going suit shopping for the wedding. I've got my dress, but I need shoes and either a jacket or a cardigan or something. Because it's sleeveless. It's bright orange as well. It is literally like this colour. Probably not. It's, it's like a bright... It's probably this bright... Um, but it's like a corally colour. It's got a bit of a pinkish tone to it rather than being bright orange. Um, but it fits really nicely. It's just so pretty. I just wish it was perhaps in blue <laughs> instead of bright orange. But just for pairing it with, I do like the colour and I like wearing bright colours. I do want to, I do want to wear it, but I just don't know what I'm going to, I just don't know what I'm going to wear it with. Maybe white or cream or something cream you know what milk is don't you milk milk when he was a puppy he used to drink puppy milk and you learned what that word was very quickly um and you can get milk dog milk 
that's not for puppies and very occasionally he has it as a treat he knows what treats is as well <laughs> i'm just saying all his words i'm not saying the w one i'm not going out he's just been he's chucking it down we look like two little sad drowned rats out there didn't we didn't we yeah oh oh he's just lying on all the squares um yeah so i think that's all i've got to tell you waffling on talking to the dog very interesting i'm really enjoying making these granny squares i'm used i've already used up so i'm not going to have used any start to finish entire balls but like i say i'm using what is lying around so again got to breathe <laughs> i'm just excited um what is being used up during this project um I'm, I'm ticking off on my list upstairs is what i'm trying to say very distracted um and i've already used one the green will be two because that's almost done this minty color will be three for definite possibly four with the yellow because i'm going to use so much maybe the cerise will go as well once i do the lovey hmm so, Kirk said, I've got to wait a couple of months for more wool, he thinks. Obviously, if I want to buy some, I'm allowed to. But I was asking him last night, I said, how long do you think I should wait then before I buy more wool? He says, well, you don't need any. He says, I know, but I will do, won't I? He says, why will you? Because I, I, this yellow will be used up and I've already got another project in mind for yellow. I know his mum, her favourite colour is burgundy. And I do have some burgundy-ish colours but I have ideas for more than just one colour so so he said a couple of months but then we went to Aldi today and they had one pack of it was called fancy yarn and it was like it looked like um eyelashy and it was in like a purpley colour and I didn't need it at all but I was like because <gasps> I wasn't allowed to go into Aldi when all the all the yarn was there so, but it was exciting to see it anyway. <sighs> right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go and make some lunch. And I think I'm going to treat myself to a cup of tea. Because it's dropped quite cold. And I have a little friend behind me. He's going to start barking at birds outside the window now. So, I will go. Pugo, be careful. I will go. Thank you all for watching. Um, thank you for all the lovely comments that you have left before and any that you hopefully will leave again. Um, it's my auntie Kerry's birthday this week. I've been going on about it for weeks. Her presents have been bought and wrapped, but that may be the reason that there aren't any more videos till later. But I'm not going to come on till I finish this anyway now. I don't think... Unless I need a good chat. Sometimes I just need a good chat. This is 25 minutes of me saying I've made some granny squares. Thanks. Um, right, I'm going to go. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.